All right, you've heard me talk a lot about Genesis 6 and how the sons of God are men. It should be pretty obvious. And God destroyed the world because of the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. That's why God destroyed the world with a flood. Now, I want to sort of go get past that and I want to talk about down here versus I guess we'll go verse 18 but I but with thee will I establish my covenant and thou shalt come into the ark thou and thy sons and thy wife and thy sons wives with thee and of every living thing of all flesh two of every sort shalt thou bring into the ark to keep them alive with thee they shall be male and female, of fowls after their kind, and of cattle after their kind, and of every creeping thing of the earth after his kind. Two of every sort shall come unto thee to keep them alive. And take thou unto thee of all food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather it to thee, and it shall be for food for thee and for them. Thus did Noah according to all that God commanded him, so did he. Now, this is important to establish and to understand that Noah took in all the animals of every sort, okay? Two of every kind. Not all the animals, but every kind of animal he brought into the ark, which would include dinosaurs. All right, now, a little common sense says, <clears throat> okay, let's not bring in these 500 ton dinosaurs, let's bring in the baby dinosaurs, right? And so, I've talked about this before, the baby dinosaurs being like the Jackson Chameleon, which is the modern day Triceratops. All right, you see it's got the three horned face there, just like the Triceratops. And then the brown baseless lizard, also known as the Jesus Lizard, is the modern day T Rex. All right, so I'm going to introduce another one for you to look at, and that's going to be the monitor lizard, and uh, it's also, a, you've heard of like the Komodo dragon, the Komodo dragon is a monitor lizard, so there are many kinds of uh, these types of lizards, Noah would have brought them in to the ark. And for a purpose. Now, if God had commanded Noah to bring in these animals only for them to become extinct later, then God would have commanded Noah in vain. And that is not something he did. I don't believe that at all. I do not believe any animal has ever gone extinct ever. It's not going to happen. It's never happened. It's not going to happen. So those fossils that people find in the dirt of large reptiles, what they call a dinosaur is a terrible lizard. These large fossils are evidence of these lizards before the flood. Because before the flood, men were living much, much longer than what they live today. And evidence of that is uh, Adam. And all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. Nobody today lives 930 years. Everybody and everything was living much longer before the flood. God gave them an incredible opportunity to do it all themselves 
and they blew it. They couldn't do it. Even when Adam and Eve was in the Garden of Eden, God gave them the opportunity to do it by themselves. They couldn't do it. And then God gave them this opportunity after the Garden of Eden, and they couldn't do it. And here we are. I, there are numerous examples after the flood of God giving men the opportunity to do it by themselves and they continue to fail we only got one shot and that's through our Savior the Lord Jesus Christ all right so I'm going to show you a clip and, and by the way Jesus is the only way if you're gonna have everlasting life he is the only way there's no other way so this is uh, from the Steve guy from the BBC Earth can't remember the name of the show it doesn't matter but or maybe that is the name of the show I don't know but I shared a clip of him um, when he was out hunting uh, uh, unicorns the Indian rhinoceros and it got you know I think I got a strike or the video got removed or something so I'm taking a chance here so I'm gonna try to show maybe seven seconds of this video to give you an idea about this fella here and this is the brontosaurus the modern-day brontosaurus known today as the monitor lizard all right here we go Okay, and then here, he says nose to nose with a modern day dinosaur, and that's exactly it. So, if you look at this creature, he's got the long neck and the long tail. In these museums, they have him standing up. They're just posing these skeletal remains, if you will, in a way that looks looks imposing and looks interesting doesn't mean they walked around like that um, but it, you can examine bone for bone these creatures <clears throat> and then compare them to these modern-day creatures and they're the same Jackson chameleon bone for bone triceratops brown base lizard bone for bone the t-rex monitor lizard bone for bone brontosaurus all right so the, these are the three main dinosaurs when i was a kid growing up you know that was a long 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 time ago and so dinosaurs they've gone nuts with what i don't even know what they're teaching kids i heard people talking about birds being dinosaurs well that when i was a kid birds weren't dinosaurs or dinosaurs weren't birds or however you want to look at it they're just it's just They've gone nuts with this stuff. Anything to distract and confuse, right? So, I want you to take a look at the way this creature walks. Notice he's not standing upright like we see here in these museum where they, in this they got the skeletons of these monitor lizards standing up. They're, see how he walks? He extends his... Well, I guess the video is not going to play now. So, he extends his legs in a natural motion. Stays low to the ground. And you notice he's got the serpent-style tongue very interesting as well and he's a big fella I think uh, the crocodiles and uh, and like uh, there's some sort of snake I can't remember can't think of it now that are larger reptiles but these monitor lizards are the third largest lizard reptile whatever you want to call them 
in the world today and they do grow they do grow as up to like 10 feet i mean they get huge and i think people some people even eat them i'm not for sure about all that but fact of the matter is before the flood everybody lived longer everything lived longer and it is a scientific fact that reptiles never stop growing in size so you give these creatures hundreds of years to roam and to eat and to grow they will grow and they will grow and they will become humongous and we have evidence of that in the fossil record and they are being displayed all over the world in these museums all right so nothing has ever gone extinct 